there's like a set of very bad outcomes. One thing I'm particularly worried about is that these models uh, could be used for uh, large-scale disinformation. Now, in this particular clip, the CEO of OpenAI, Sam Altman, mentioned that the AI tool can lead to misinformation. Now, AI is not a new term, right? It's there from a long time. But after the introduction of ChatGPT, things are changing very fast. Now, the things which we thought will take a lot of time, we have seen so many movies, right, where AI is taking over the world. We have seen so many movies where we have robot killing people. But then again, those are science fiction. Those are hypothetical things, right? But when it comes to ChatGPT now, we know that the AI is moving very fast. Fast. So at one point people thought this is coming but then it will take around 10 more years maybe 2030 or 2040 where you will see all these features where uh, AI is replacing humans but then it's not very far. Now if you see there are a lot of discussions happening where it says it might replace jobs and other things. Of course, I'm not saying it will not create new jobs but then we can't run away from a fact where we have to understand there are certain jobs role where AI can do it much better. And as a human, we have to upgrade ourselves. But then here's interesting news coming up. The godfather of AI, Dr. Hinton, left Google. And he's warning about AI. And you might be thinking, who is Dr. Hinton? Now, of course, if you are in AI world, you will be knowing who is Dr. Hinton. But for people who are from the outside field, now, he is known as the godfather of AI. Reason being, all the recent development in AI is happening with the help of neural networks and he has done huge amount of work in that particular field. Now, in this particular article, we will also know uh, who is Dr. Hinton and also what are his thoughts on AI. Okay, now the important thing is, Dr. Hinton was into academic and in 2012, Dr. Hinton and his two graduate students, they created a technology which was actually bought by Google for a huge amount of money, okay? And the same student, one of the student, later being one of the founder of OpenAI. Now in the interview, Dr. Hinton said he has quit his job at Google where he worked for more than a decade. So basically he's working in AI for a long time and then he was with Google for a decade and worked on multiple AI technology. Now the thing is, most of the companies, is not just OpenAI or Microsoft, most of the companies are actually doing a lot of different work with AI. The only thing is, they were not putting this technology to the world. Because the problem is, we don't understand what AI can do and what are the bad implications of it. It's more like a nuclear power, right? So if you build an atomic bomb, you're not sure how bad it can be. In the same way, when you talk about AI, yes, it can do a lot of good things, but then we are not sure what are the risks of AI, right? And that's what a lot of people were ignoring at the start, and few companies knew they have to follow some standards or they have to follow some regulation. And the thing is, we don't have regulations yet. And the moment OpenAI came with ChatGPT in the March, in fact, that's what also mentioned in this article. So if you see, OpenAI released the new version of ChatGPT in March, more than 1,000 technology leaders and researchers signed an open letter calling for a six months moratorium on the development of new system. It's because AI technology poses profound risk on the society and humanity. Now, of course, government is actually working on the regulation with this company so that even government need to understand how do you build a regulation for, some, for something like this. Now, in one of the interview, Sundar Pichai also mentioned that they are actually looking for a collaboration for the, with the government to build regulation. So it, it normally, you normally don't hear this from the company itself where they are waiting for the regulation. And that's important, right? Because if they are building something which might impact, which might give a bad result or it can lead to a bad behavior. Uh, example, if, if, you, if you build a tool and if you think everything will be happening good with that, how do you know that bad people will not be using with a bad intention? So they are looking for the regulation. And in fact, Google, as mentioned by Dr. Hinton, was actually playing safe and they don't want to release whatever they are doing with the public. But then the moment OpenAI released ChatGPT and Microsoft supporting ChatGPT with their uh, Bing search, now Google is under pressure, right? Of course, they have to uh, maintain their business. And with that excuse, now Google, Microsoft, and all these companies 
are fighting to be on top with this tool. And the moment competition comes into picture, you know, people say everything is fair in war. Now it's a war. Who can build a better AI solution and who and their solution should be adopted by the people, they will try to give more features to the world. And the moment you say more features, which is not in under control, can lead to bad thing. And one of the things which Dr. Hinton also mentioned is it can lead to a lot of misinformation. Now, if you might be thinking what's wrong with that or what bad can happen. See, misinformation simply means when you, whenever you search something on the internet, you're not sure is it true or false. You're not sure is it the data generated is real or fake. Is it generated by humans or AI? Okay, it will have a multiple version of true and false and you will be not sure what information is correct and what's not. And that's a huge thing. Of course, you will understand that once it starts happening, but since we are into the world of development, we have to understand those things earlier than the other people. So in 2012, Dr. Hinton and two students I mentioned, uh, so this is the person who later founded OpenAI. So as I mentioned, the tech giants are locked in a competition that might be impossible to stop. So that's true, right? When the, the moment you start with the competition, it happened with all the other services. It can be social media, it can be streaming services. When the competition goes up, uh, they forgot about what, are, what is right and what is wrong for the world. So I'm not sure how this, all this thing will lead to. I still need to do some more research on this. What can be the positive and the negative outcomes of all this competition? And uh, we are in a very unclear state at this point, uh, how fast it will go and as a human or as a employee, what are the things we have to add up so that it will not replace your jobs. And also about the misinformation. Let's see how fast government uh, can bring the regulations. So yeah, just wanted to give you this update about this recent news and let me know your thoughts in the comment section.